Once upon a time, in the heart of the vibrant and enchanting city of Paris, there existed an extraordinary phenomenon. It was an unspoken truth, a subtle yet powerful current that flowed through the veins of every woman who walked its cobblestone streets. This tale, my dear reader, is the story of that phenomenon, a tale of unspoken desires, of the enchanting allure of feminine pride and the irresistible fascination that every woman holds for men. Her breasts. In the bustling markets of Paris, the allure started with the vendors, the women who sold their wares with a confident and captivating grace. They would bend over their stalls, their chests proudly displayed in their low-cut blouses, the sun casting a golden glow upon their ample cleavage. Their laughter would ring out, inviting the men to come closer, to partake in their charms and wares. As the sun set over the city, the allure continued in the dimly lit cabarets and bistros. The women, clad in their most seductive attire, would sway to the rhythm of the music, their breasts bouncing gracefully with each step. Their eyes would lock with the men in the audience, a silent invitation to indulge in their beauty, to revel in the feminine grace that they exuded. But it was not just the women of the streets and the cabarets who held this allure. Every woman in Paris, from the humblest servant to the most noble woman, held this power within her. It was a part of their very essence, a silent declaration of their womanhood, their femininity, their pride. One fateful evening, in the grand ballroom of the Palais Garnier, the allure reached its zenith. The room was filled with the city's elite, men and women dressed in their finest attire, all gathered to celebrate the season's harvest. The women, in their elegant gowns, were a sight to behold. They moved with a grace and poise that captivated the men, their breasts gently swaying beneath their low-cut necklines. Among them was a beautiful young woman named Isabella. She was the talk of the town, the embodiment of feminine beauty and allure. Her chest, full and firm, was the envy of every woman and the object of desire for every man. As she danced with her partner, her eyes locked with those of a handsome young painter named Raoul. Their gazes held for what seemed like an eternity. And in that moment, a spark ignited between them, a spark that would forever change their lives. From that moment on, Isabella and Raoul were inseparable. They spent their days exploring the city, their nights lost in each other's arms. And as they grew closer, Isabella began to reveal to Raoul the true power of her femininity, the allure that had captivated him from the very beginning. She showed him the beauty of her breasts, their softness, their sensuality, their power. And in that moment, Raoul understood. He understood the unspoken desire that drove every woman, the pride that they held in their femininity, and the allure that it held for men. Together. Isabella and Raoul embarked on a journey of self-discovery, exploring the depths of their disirres, their passions, and their love for one another. And as they grew older, they passed on the knowledge they had gained, the understanding of the power of femininity, of the allure of the female breast, to the next generation. And so, the cycle continued. The allure of the female breast the enchanting symbol of femininity and pride, passing from woman to woman, from generation to generation. And as the sun set over the city of Paris, the women would once again reveal their charms, their breasts bared in the moonlight, a silent invitation to the men to indulge in their beauty, to revel in the power of their femininity, and to partake in the enchanting allure of their unspoken desires. And as for Isabella and Raoul, they lived out their days, their love for each other growing stronger with each passing day, their lives a testament to the power of the female breast, the allure that had brought them together, and the symbol of the unspoken desires that every woman holds within her. As the years passed, Isabella and Raoul's love continued to flourish. They grew old together, their bond stronger than ever before. 
and as they looked back on their lives, they realized that the allure of the female breast was not just a symbol of femininity and pride, but also a reminder of the power of love. Isabella, with her ample chest, had always been the object of desire for many men, but it was Raoul who had captured her heart. And through their love, she had come to understand that the true power of the female breast was not in its ability to captivate and entice, but in its ability to nurture and sustain life. As a mother, Isabella had breastfed her children, providing them with the sustenance they needed to grow strong and healthy. And as she watched them grow, she realized that the allure of the female breast was not just about physical desire, but also about the deep connection between a mother and her child. Raoul, too, came to understand the deeper meaning of the female breast. He had once been captivated by its physical allure, but as he grew older and wiser, he came to appreciate the emotional and spiritual depth that it held. He had seen the power of the female breast to nurture and sustain life, and he had witnessed the deep bond between a mother and her child. Together, Isabella and Raoul continued to explore the mysteries of the female breast, its allure, its power, and its deeper meaning. And as they grew old and wise, they passed on their knowledge to their children and grandchildren, sharing with them the secrets of the feminine heart and the enchanting allure of the female breast. The legend of Isabella and Raoul spread throughout Paris, and their story became a source of inspiration for generations to come. The women of Paris continued to embrace their femininity, to take pride in their bodies and to revel in the allure of their breasts. And the men, in turn, came to understand and appreciate the deeper meaning of that allure, the power of love, and the connection between a mother and her child. And so, the cycle of life continued. The allure of the female breast, a constant reminder of the power of love, the depth of femininity, and the enduring bond between a mother and her child. And as the sun set over the city of Paris, the women would once again reveal their charms, their breasts bared in the moonlight, a silent invitation to the men to indulge in their beauty, to revel in the power of their femininity, and to partake in the enchanting allure of their unspoken desires. And as for Isabella and Raoul, they grew old together, their love for each other as strong as ever before. They watched as their children and grandchildren grew, and they knew that their legacy would live on, a reminder of the power of love, the depth of femininity, and the enduring bond between a mother and her child. And as they lay in each other's arms, their bodies entwined, their hearts beating as one, they knew that they had lived a good and fulfilling life, a life filled with love, passion, and the enchanting allure of the female breast. And as they closed their eyes for the final time, they knew that their love would live on, immortalized in the hearts and minds of their descendants, and that the allure of the female breast would continue to captivate and entice, a reminder of the power of love, the depth of femininity, and the enduring bond between a mother and her child. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.